Hi everyone, my name is Ken Endel, an engineer and an intact person. I was born in 1978, fortunately without any disability. I really appreciate my parents for it. But when I say normal and intact person, we have two arms, two legs. So the people can walk, go back, we can, the person can walk using the two legs, go back and forward, and then we can go up and down stairs using the two legs. We can also keep the balance on the running, or even on the running train using the two legs, stably and efficiently. Once the people lose the, uh, any kind of limb, functionally and physically, the, they will be categorized as a disabled person. And so we have some technology to fill that space between the residual limb and the residual limb and the ground, namely prosthetic devices. Then empty can walk back and forth. The empty can also go up and down the stairs. The empty can also keep the balance between uh, uh, residual limb and the ground using prosthetic device even on the train. However, it's not stable. It's not efficiently that much as a human being. And if there is some perfect leg replaced by his original function in a comprehensive way, he will not be disabled anymore, I think. The one example, great example, is eyeglasses. Then we can see any object using through the uh, lenses because the, that's the technology to enhance the, our eye power uh, for the people with the myopia, near-sighted. And so re more recently, people try to wear the eyeglasses for the purpose of the fashion, part of the fashion. And moreover, if the empty could have the longer leg, which enable patient to run faster, he would not be disabled anymore. <laughs> he, can, he is augmented human rather than disabled person. And I'm not talking only about the technology, but also environment and social issues are also the critical. For example, wheelchair is one of the great examples for to talking about the environment. If the patient with the wheelchair, for example, want to go to the grocery store around this area, and the, if he can go to that location without any complaint with the user-friendly environment and more with the great support around his area, and he would not be able to disable if he does not think he is disabled. So my goal is eradicate physical disability. There are some challenges on technology design and dissemination considering the environment and services. And let me share some personal uh, story I uh, experienced before. When I was a master's student, uh, cancer was found in his knee joint. Uh, and uh, uh, he finally amputated his tie parts, tie parts here, and he is now using the uh, above knee uh, prosthetic devices. I was working on the humanoid robot, and my technology doesn't, di didn't work for him at all. So I was totally useless for him. I just realized that at that time, the human robot is not useful for him. And I, it, it turned out I, more, I get more interested in working on more practical technology beyond the human robot, namely the prosthetic devices. And at almost same time, I met Professor Hugh Herr. He's a uh, professor at MIT Media Lab, and uh, he developed his own prosthetic devices for rock climbing. He's very uh, older custom prosthetic devices for only for rock climbing. And the important thing is that he believed he, uh, there is no such a thing, there is no such a thing as a disabled person, that only this technology is disabled. He inspired me a lot and I decided to go to the MIT and I got a PhD last year under supervised by him. And after my experience, uh, my, total, my idea is totally changed. When I look at these spaces, when I was a master student, I felt this is lost, and I felt so huge sorry and uh, sympathy on the disability. But now I'm very excited to looking at these spaces and how can I hack these spaces using the technology now. 
And so uh, when I, uh, we call uh, disability shogai in Japanese, we often use this character, upper one and lower one mean the exactly the same meaning, but using different character. Upper one has the negative meaning on the character. And the, the, the upper words has been accepted for a long time. And the, but people start to use the lower character because the, the old, most old people are taking care of the disabilities, the mind, state of mind. However, one of my friends, he is the hip disarticulated amputee, uh, pointed out he hates this situation. Why not using the upper one? Because this has been accepted for a long time. And uh, he uh, encouraged me to use the upper one. And he also pointed out, we sounds like we are avoiding looking at the fundamental issue directly. That makes sense. It's still controversy, but the, my point here is we might be too sensitive to the disability. And I'm the, talking about the environment. So disability spread all over the world, and the, the, there are a bunch of the different environment around the disability. So we need to take the different action to reach out the disability all over the world. I will show you the two examples I'm taking right now. The one is the uh, prosthetic device I was working when I was the PhD student. Now he's using the, uh, uh, his own prosthetic devices, and I found that space to hack. I put the robotics between his uh, resilient in the ground. And now he's working more biologically and uh, efficiently. So that now, the, this is more academic and the uh, scientific approach to enhance his, his capability. And so when I went to India, I put the affordable but more functional prosthetic devices to the two 10-year-old uh, girl. And his father looks very happy. So this is very important because for engineer because I'm pretty much sure that this our technology enhances the quality of life of the people. And so you might think the disability is out of your business, but we all are disabled. If I live in the village where the hundreds of the Mr. Usain Bolt live, I will be disabled in terms of the running speed. And we are getting old, we are losing the functionality gradually. So we don't have any boundary between the intact and disabled person. And the term disability is a relative term, I think. And what we can do by putting the technology on the body is thinning the color of the disability and putting another color beyond the human. And using the technology, we can go across the color and there will be no disability and intact person anymore. There's a bunch of the people with a unique character. And you might think you don't have any margin around your body, but I can see a bunch of the margin around your body by looking, stepping backwards. So please let me have your body. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.